shapes and patterns. Let's first discuss the different types of shapes. First one is triangle. A triangle has three sides which are connected to each other and it has three corners. This is the example of triangle. Rectangle A rectangle has four sides in which the opposite pair of two sides is equal to each other and it has four corners. For example, this book is in rectangular shape. Square A square has four sides of equal length and it has four corners. Here, the dice is in the form of square. Circle A circle does not have a side or corner. It is round in shape. For example, this ball is round in shape. Let's do some exercise. Suppose we have an image of this house. In this image, we can observe that we have some shapes on the house, like one circle, two squares, one rectangle, and a triangle. Here, we have different objects of rectangles, circles, squares and triangles. So, by observing these objects, we can arrange this in a group like this. Straight line and curved line. Hey kids, have you observed some pictures here? Yes, this is pencil. This is ruler. And these are stumps. Do you observe that all these pictures have a common thing in shape? Yes, all these are straight in shape. While this road, this mouse and this road are not straight in shape. Or we can say these are curved in shape. So here we observed that straight line looks like this while the curved line looks like this. Now let us learn patterns. Patterns are the sequence of similar types of objects. Look at the following figure here. You have observed that the rectangle is followed by the circle, so it forms a pattern. Let's do some exercise. Place the correct figure to complete the pattern. In the first figure, it is clear that the multiplication sign is followed by the plus sign. So here, we place the plus sign to complete the sequence. In the second figure, we observed that the one side is removed when we move from left to right. Thus, we place this to complete the pattern. 